Hello, CFFs. Hello, my Christian friends and family. How are you guys doing? It is Monday and we are, well, I'm preparing for a busy week. I still have some last minute items I need to run out and pick up. So I'm going to get that done today and um, start in on some of my baking, getting things out of the way. But hey, how are you guys doing? How is your week starting off? I hope it's starting off good. I hope that you are getting ready to enjoy your time with friends and family. And um, if that means you're going to family's gathering or family is coming to you, uh, my husband and I, we are staying in. Um, I do expect the kids to drop by a little bit later in, um, uh, earlier in the week. Um, and, but <laughs> everyone's spending their Thanksgiving at home and we're preparing for a very big Christmas. So we have that. Hey, listen, I am here very quickly. I wanted to share my word for Monday Motivation, and that word is patience. Um, we have to be patient in, in all things, and patience simply means the ability to um, be patient when you're confronted with delays, when things are not going quite the way you want them to go, uh, there's a little snagola or a little snag, a little snag and uh, hiccups, uh, however you want to call it, in things that you're trying to do, your plans. We have to learn to be patient. And yes, I have a scripture for that. So let me read the scripture real quick. And I am going to um, stuff my little one dollars and I'm going to start um, um, one of my uh, challenges for 2025. So uh, let me go to my Bible. And as you guys know, um, let me get it. I read Life in the Spirit. This is the Bible that I use, King James Version, Life in the Spirit Study Bible. I love, love, love this. And so, yeah. And it is Galatians, if I haven't said it, it's Galatians 6, verse 9. And it says, And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. So don't get weary. Um, I'm not doing my page today. But um, as the scripture says, don't get weary. You're doing good. Stay focused. Don't get out of focus. Be patient. Just know that all good things take time and no matter what your project is, your plan is, whatever your goals are, whatever they are, be patient and know that it will happen in time. Um, don't let setbacks and um, delays uh, force you <laughs> to be impatient and rush into something that you really don't want to do. And so... <clears throat> I am going to, that's my word, patience, be patient. Um, I am going to put, I have three $1 bills. Okay. As I was doing my shopping, I had this change left over. And I was going to go and purchase me one of my favorite drinks and get one of my lovely um, I don't know if you want to call it a bear claw. But anyway, it I love it. It's apple fritter. That's what they are, apple fritters. And I was going to use this, and I said, you know what? 
I'm not going to spend. And that is my goal going into 2025. I don't want to spend anything that I can do at home. Am I going to uh, succeed every single day? I, I'm definitely going to put my best foot forward and try. Um, and I hope I do. Um, I hope I do succeed in doing that. But um, these, uh, that was an F and these are two L's. So those are filled in my alpha books. So I'm not going to worry about doing that. Uh, so I'm putting this in my dollar savings. Man, I can't wait to see how much I have in here. I can't wait. It is so stuffed, guys. I kid you not. It's, well, you know, dollars don't weigh that much, so it's not heavy. But um, it is cram full. When I say it's packed, it's packed. And as I showed you before, it had started coming apart down here. And um, I picked it up one day, and it just opened up and so I quickly taped it up and I said mm -mm. so I don't have to bust it or break it to get to it I just have to take the tape off and all my dollars will uh, come out but that's that's my dollars so far guys I wonder how many I have in there how many do you guys think I have in here <laughs> let me know in the comments below um, I don't know I'm thinking maybe 50 but anyway, and I want to start one of my challenges. Guys, I am serious about saving on this coming new year. I really, truly am. I am going to save as much as I can. I have a goal, and I really want to meet that goal. So I am going to start. I decided... Uh, I was hoping this wouldn't do that. I have decided that I want to start with my 2025. And we have this is blue. I'm looking for a blue. Blue, but that's a pencil. I'm looking for a blue, blue. I'm going to use this. Um. And since I'm doing 2025, I'm going to do this right here. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I should do green. It's a Christmas tree, so <laughs> I'll do green. So, yeah, I'm going to do green here. I am starting off already. I know it's not 2025, but it's never too late to start. And so here we go. 2025 is off and it's $10. It's not much, but guess what? Every little bit counts. Every little bit adds up. And so, yeah, I'm starting with that. And I am excited about it my 2025 so yeah I'm starting my 2025 off guys with ten dollars and I can't wait to complete this I can't wait so that is my starting off point so I just wanted to share that with you guys I wanted to share my word and my scripture um I hope everyone has a blessed and fantastic uh, week ahead. I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving. I hope that your days are filled with blessings, love, joy, peace, happiness, and all of God's goodness. This is If this is your first time joining me or stopping by, I hope you will consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button below. And give me a thumbs up it really does help me out and if you're brand new here welcome thank you i appreciate you so much thank you for 
becoming a part of the CFF family. And if you've been with me for a long time, love and hugs. You guys know I love you and appreciate you for stopping by, for leaving a comment, for just being a part of the CFF family and just being supportive. I really do appreciate it. I really, really do. So to everyone, I wish you a blessed and safe and happy uh, Thanksgiving and Remember, be patient, be patient. Don't let delays cause you to become unpatient and rush into something. I hope that word helps you. So until next time, remember, let's focus on three good things in our day. They're there, little nuggets that God drops in, down for us to enjoy, to let us know, hey, I put some good in your day kick out the negative we don't need it and uh, focus on those three good things write it in your planner put it in your journal write it on a piece of paper stick it to your wall your computer your mirror wherever to let you know hey there was some good in my day so we want to focus on that something that puts a smile on our face it warms our heart and it brings joy to our soul so until next time bye